Chase the Wind by John Flindall Read by Delio Pera Reality split with a noise like tearing flesh. Before Lieutenant Takar's eyes, three jagged blades pushed into existence in the Ingenarium room as something ripped a path into the material realm. For a moment, the white scar's superhuman reflexes failed him, and he froze as the horror before him took shape. Then it leapt, and he instinctively spanned to avoid its slashing claws. Warp Talon, he thought as his training kicked in. The warrior wore the midnight blue of the Night Lords, and lightning crackled from the sharpened edges of his armor. The bolt carbines of infiltrator squad Suzak opened up as more of the heretic Astartes tore their way into reality, concussive echoes ringing out in the close confine. Takar brought his weapon to his shoulder and fired a short burst of shots at his foe as the warp talon closed again. Ceramite fragments flew from his target's pauldron, but the warrior was hardly slowed by the impacts. Takar's desperate parry saved him from being gutted by the warped talon's charge, but momentum bore him to the deck nonetheless. Sparks flew as his foe's lightning claws carved up the plating to either side of him. He drew a combat knife and buried it between the plates that guarded the warrior's guts. As the warped talon convulsed, Takar pushed the wounded attacker aside and rolled to his feet. He swung his carbine up and put two bolt rounds into the Chaos Space Marine's helm, which burst open in a crimson bloom. Before him was a scene of horror. The warp assassins had cut down several of Squad Suzak, and white armored bodies lay torn and scattered on the deck plating. The remainder of the infiltrators were retreating, backing down the corridor which led to the ship's primary reactor. Their guns laid down, disciplined, covering fire, but the warp talons were too fast. Before Takur could react, another of the Night Lord's warriors fired his jump pack briefly, boosting forward to impale Brother Joghun upon his jagged claws. Enemy assault troops on Ingenarium Duck 4, aft bulkhead 16, Takur voxed to the other White Scar's forces aboard the Warhawk. Heavy casualties, avoid engaging at blade's range. Ignoring his own advice, the lieutenant rushed towards the fiend hunched over Brother Jogun. His enemy wore no helm, and his pallid face was set in a rictus grin as he looked up from his victim. Your kin make poor sport, White Scar, the Chaos Space Marine hissed, withdrawing his claws from Jogun's torso in a welter of blood. As Dakar roared and drew his remaining knife, he saw the dying warrior's arm twitch. Then the crack grenade in Jogan's hand detonated, and the warp talon and his victim were lost in a blinding explosion. You fought well, Tuslak. Sit down. Jagata Khan sat in a low chair in his personal chambers. Smoke drifted up from an incense bowl set on the table before him. Takar had repaired the worst of the damage to his armor, but its servos grated as he took the indicated seat. He studied his commander's face. The master of recruits had already worn the scars of a hundred battles when Takar passed the test of tempering and joined the chapter proper. Yet, the White Scar's voyage into the debris field known as the Tears of the Emperor seemed to have aged him further. Takar understood. The ship they pursued, the hated Nightmare of Salix, broadcast the tortured screams of astropaths captured by the night lords in a near constant stream this soul-searing barrage wore at all the sons of the great khan do believe we are being outplayed by the traitors takar the khan continued staring into the glowing embers of incense three more brothers fell today my khan the night lords attack us at every turn they send a handful of warriors against a brotherhood each time, and when we halt, the next attack they flee. There is no victory. You will feel every cut that we are dealt as if it were carved into your own skin, Jagara replied. This is good, but sometimes the hunter must push on despite his wounds. Of course, but we seem no closer to finding our quarry. They lured us into this asteroid field, and now the only traces we find of their route are those they chose to show us. 
With Solaya's guidance, we might have run them to ground, but alone. Stormseer Solai had been confined to his sanctorum since the White Scars hunt began. The psychic screams of the Nightmare of Salix tore at the Zadian Arga's mind, and it took all his will to hold on to his consciousness. Takara looked up, meeting Takur's stare through the coiling smoke. Ours is not an easy path to slug, he said levelly, but we were not made for easy paths. I too feel our sitter's absence keenly, but I know what he would say if he were with us. We are the wind, brother. These traitors think to break our will, but no one can check the wind. Takar ducked beneath the swing of the Terminator's mace, slicing at the pipes underneath its breastplate. He stepped back out of range of the warrior's tusked helm, covering his retreat with burst from his bolt carbine. How many more of these ambushes could the strike force survive? The Terminator's midnight plate was barely marked by the mass reactive bolts, and the warrior lumbered towards him, relentless. Behind it, four more of the behemoths advanced to surround him. Stepping backwards, the lieutenant stumbled over the body of a crippled infiltrator. The Terminator hefted its mace, and energy crackled around the weapon's head as Takur groped for the grenades at his belt. Then, an explosive round cracked into the Terminator's eyelids as spraying brain matter across Takara's visor. The towering Chaos Space Marine sagged, slipping to its knees. Takara leapt aside before it crashed to the deck, then glanced to his left down the dimly lit Axis corridor. His optics allowed him to make out three Eliminators at its far end, crouched in the shadows. More fire snapped out, and another of the Night Lords fell. Strike, sons of Jagorius, came Jagada's voice as the captain leapt from an overhead gantry to slam into a reeling Terminator. His sword flashed and blood poured from his target's torso in a flood. The reavers of squad Borthold dropped with him, heavy bolt pistols barking at point-blank range. In moments, the remaining Terminators had fallen, and Dakar joined his brother's cheers. Jagada Khan turned to his lieutenant. The Khan's top knot was plastered to his scalp with traitor's blood, and his eyes glittered. These snakes thought they could outrun the wind, Dakar, but no matter how fast you run, the wind is there before you. Okay, well, that's two stories this week, and I definitely liked the other one a little bit more. This one was fine. I don't know. It was okay. Um, I think I utterly butchered some of these names, but I decided to take some English advice that I got from a high school teacher once, and she said, if you mispronounce something, just keep on mispronouncing it that way until you learn the correct pronunciation. Don't just change it up every time. So I thought, for you, the listener, that would make a lot more sense for you to hear the same mispronunciation as opposed to a different pronunciation every time I read the word. <laughs> so if you go back and read this, if you click on the link, which I always provide in the, the description, you go, that's not how that's said. Uh, boy, boy, Dell, I don't, I don't know about that. Then, yeah, I, I derped it up. Um, ba 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 yeah, thanks as always for listening to these, and let me know if you've got any feedback besides my bungling of the, the names in here, if you have a correct pronunciation or you've got some tips on where I can get that right, then by all means, let me know. All right, that, that's enough yammering from me. Have a great day.